Hi everyone, it's Robin Sloan, your wedding photographer. I wanted to talk to you today about how to revise your wedding album. I know it can be a daunting task, but I promise you, if you follow these really easy steps I'm gonna give you, you will get that first revision done and to me before you know it. And once that first revision is done, the second one, I promise you, is so much faster and easier. And then the third one normally is just tweaking if there is even a third one. And then we go to print. Okay, so there are two windows that you're going to want to have open. The first one is your proofing site. So you can see I've opened up a proofing site. This is Chrissy and Brady, but obviously open your own. And you're gonna go down, open your gallery. Very important you're going to want to put your the bride's email address. This is going to prompt you, here it is, a little slow, but it's there, to enter a passcode, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what I've done is I've made the bride's email an admin, and that is going to give you all these options that the other guests don't see. So push submit. And one thing you will notice right away is you're on your homepage. And if you go under favorites, you now can hide images. You can favorite images, what you had before, but you can also label images. So that's going to be really important. So go back to your home screen. And as you can see, every category tells you how many, photo, how many photos are in the category. You're probably from, familiar with this, so I'm just going to get right into it and show you how you can label your images. So if we go to an image, let's say this image here, under the photo you have little quick buttons. You can hide it, label it, favorite, share, black and white, you can read these. You can download them. You can always download any of your images. Your passcode will be real original, one, two, three, four, five, six, unless I've changed that and then you would probably know what that is. So we are going to label this image. What uh, We're kind of jumping ahead, but when you go to communicate with me on which images you want to add to your album uh, design, this is how you are going to label them. So you go in, click Album Revision 1, and done. Easy. Go back to Gallery. First of all, you can see that these two have little tags on them that knows that, that means they're labeled. But to check, go under your favorites. I wish this said labels, but you have to go into favorites and head over to this tab that says labeled. And you'll see there's some photos in here because I've been playing around with this. But album revision one, we have 14 photos in there, but you can see the photo that I just clicked is in the album revisions one folder which by the way I can see on the back end so only you and I can see your album revision folders also one thing I want to point out is this is the name of the photo 0004 dash a whole bunch of stuff we don't care about when you're communicating to me you never have to write the second part uh, unless for some reason we are confused about the beginning part, but you could just say this is image number four or image 143, whatever that is, the first four digits, that's all I need to know. Okay, so as you can see, that is how you're going to go through and label all of your images for the revisions to your wedding album design. So tab number one is your shoot proof proofing gallery. The second tab that you want to have open is your album preview. It will look like this, show my album, Riverbend Studio, your name's wedding preview. And you have this ugly black box right here. The reason for that is because we have a lot of different ways to view your album because every different uh, computer and tablet, phone, they view them all in a different format so we have to have a lot of options. So you can see you can view all, and we can look at the spreads that way, file names, you can see it that way. But let's start with viewing it in HTML5. When you first look at your wedding album, I suggest this view because it flips the pages just like your album. You can't see me, but I'm actually using the hand gestures of holding your album in your hands right now and flipping the pages. 
So Chrissy has a 16 by 12 album. So let me walk you through where, uh, what you're looking at here. This is like if your album is laying in front of you open on a table. So this, in her case, is 12 inches from bottom to top and 16 inches to the gutter. Do you see that little line? That's the center of your book. That's the crease. That's the gutter. And another 16 inches over here. So that's actually 32 inches. If you have a 12 by 12 book, obviously this will be a square format and uh, you're going to have a little bit different shape. But this is the same idea that this is your book laying open on a table. Okay, so you can look through your album design just like you're flipping pages. Um, it kind of gives you a good idea how big the photo will be if you know that this is 12 inches. It gives you an idea of how big it is. So sometimes you're going to be viewing this on your phone and these images are tiny. So you can see we uh, have some pages that have a lot of images and some that only have a few. I think that looks the best, but this is your album and you have free unlimited revisions. So make it exactly the way you want it. I will always warn you if I feel like your images are getting too small. Okay, let me show you just really quickly a few other things. If you want, you can push, do you see where I am down here? This can, uh, once you get <laughs> this memorized, which you probably will, you could always just jump to your spreads if you know them over on that side. Another way is if you're a visual person like me and can't remember a number ever, you can easily come down here and click the spreads by just looking at them. Uh, either way, whatever works for you is um, gonna work for me. It's all about uh, how it's easiest for you to view them. Okay, so let's get into revising your album, how you're actually going to do it. So, oh, I just zoomed way in, which is nice to be able to do, but then you're gonna wanna remember to zoom back out. Okay, so here is her first spread. So this, what I suggest doing is going through your album page by page. First, you need to tell me in this comments box where you are, which you are at spread number one. Do you see it right over here? So spread number one. And so you want to write it to me here. So right, you're on number one. And this is just you writing to me and my album designer. And so tell me exactly what you're thinking, even if it's just you don't like it or you love it or you wish it looked in a, a different way. So to start with this, maybe you're gonna say change font to Pico Bold. If you have specifics, like if this was the font that you used and you know you want it, please, the more specific you can be, the easier the revisions will be, the more accurate they'll be. But I'm very okay if you just say, I think this font's hard to read and can you pick something cleaner? Um, I'm happy to, to make those suggestions as well. So let's say that's the only change you want to make to page number one. And so then you're going to go to page number two. And it's totally fine if you say, hmm, this is perfect. Leave as is. You don't even have to write it. But like I said, it's kind of nice to go through page by page. So now let's say we're on spread. Well, we are on spread 03 which you can see right here, down there. And this is, an, this is a page you want to make some changes to. So we're going to go over, and you know the changes you want to make are in the bride getting ready. So click on that. And let's say as you're scrolling down, you're like, oh, I want to add in the image of the bouquet. So remember, here is the image number, number 28. And here are your options to label. So we are gonna, that one already had one clicked, we'll ignore that. Click album revision number one, done. And now we know that this, this is labeled album revision number one, done. And it's number 28. So over here, you're gonna say add number 28. You can also, if it's easier for you, if you're a visual person, put flowers. So that's how you're going to add images. And a lot of times when you add images, you take images away as well. So you might say add flowers. And let's say you added that pretty dress photo. So go back, 
and say you want to add a detail like um, of so we're going to label one more time done number 26 so now we're going to say number 26 you don't have to write the details in but sometimes it's easier because i'm going to send these revisions back to you with the new design so sometimes it's easier to just make a little note so that was um, a locket so right now what you have told me to do is add in two new photos and then you're probably thinking i want to take some of these photos away so you can say delete i can't spell delete uh top two on left side of spread which would be these two over here so you don't have to replace one image for another you could just give me a, a list of photos you want to add you could say get rid of all the people photos you could say add them all in it doesn't matter um, again this is what you envision for your design but just tell me what photos you want to delete out of the album and what photos to add and if you have any design comments put those in there so a couple other options is you could remember every photo that is in black and white can be um, changed to color and vice versa so on this page if you were going to keep it exactly the same i would probably say make bottom left photo black and white because i feel like this image sort of sticks out if they're going to keep all the other images in black and white so i can make that image black and white or i could turn all these into color for you there's so many options so try not to be overwhelmed with this i know it can be a lot but if you just go through page by page and say yep i love it or i hate this photo of me i don't know how you could hate that beautiful photo because it's so pretty but if you did tell me take it out no feelings will be hurt in the process i promise so just go through each page and tell me i want black backgrounds i want white backgrounds i want hot pink backgrounds i want to add design elements such as a flower in the background whatever you want i will try to do for you if i can't do it i will respond back to you with um, a solution that we come up with so again don't feel like you have to have all the answers but just tell me what's on your mind so i think this album is really beautiful because it has a nice mix of big images and storytelling pages so it's okay to have some spreads that have a lot of images on them like this um, there's so many details to her wedding i think it's important to show all those details on one or two spreads same with toast i almost try to put all the toasts on one page it's just a nice storytelling image uh, page and then here a standout along with some group photos that are nothing spectacular but they are important to her and need to make the album so as you can see, this album came together really nicely and I wanted to show you how it incorporates busy pages like this with stunning showstoppers. And that is how we make a really beautiful album. Please let me know if you need any help, but once you finish putting all of the changes in the box, you click submit to photographer and it goes directly to me. And then I also will go once I get that email on my end, I go into the back end and I can see and download all these images. And that way I can make sure we get the exact photo you want in the album. Okay, so if you have any questions, please email or call me. I'm happy to help and walk you through this.